This new fiberglass RV on the market is the Cortez Camper 17. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 2,680 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 820 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,500 pounds. It measures in at just 18 feet, one inch long, and it sleeps up to two people. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And next to me here, we have Brian from Cortez Campers with us. And today we're gonna to be talking about the newest fiberglass campers that are on the market today, Cortez Campers. So Brian, thanks for doing the video with well, us. Thank we you appreciate for, it. Thank you for showing up here at the show. It's uh, As you can see, it's kind of hard to get near Yeah, there's the so Cortez. many people around it, it's crazy. This is the only camper of its kind available at dealers right now. You know, Susan and I have to go to fiberglass RV rallies to be able to shoot and tour through fiberglass RVs. You just don't find them at RV shows. You don't find them at dealerships. And Brian is working with Cortez to expand the line all across the country through yeah. dealerships. They made everywhere. the decision that they want to only sell through dealer networks. That way there's more brand exposure on the on the dealer's lots. Sure. There's more service if a customer needs the service. Absolutely. Um, if you come to Cleveland, Ohio, Euclid actually just east of Cleveland, you're going to find Cortez Campers headquarters where they're manufactured and, and started. Uh, they've been working for two years to design and build the new Cortez product. So what you see today has been a lot of structure, a lot of planning, a lot yeah. of engineering yeah. that has gone into this. Uh, the company actually built boats for years. Yeah. So yeah, as you it go through, sense. you'll see a lot of uh, boat similarities. Absolutely. <laughs> when I walked through here the first time, I was like, this thing's a boat with wheels and a door. Yep. And there you go. Now, Cortez also, you also make these in some really cool colors. Yes. Because we featured Cortez in one of the issues of RV Camping Magazine. Yep. So we got a bunch of pictures of the awesome, like, blue sky. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then there's, like, a mint green color. The seafoam green. Yes. Yeah. So one of the things we do differently is because our folks are such experts in building marine grade gel coat and finishes, they can impregnate the colors directly in. Oh, okay. So white is the standard. The colors that you see on a Cortez are not painted on. That's oh, part right. of the substrate in the fiberglass. Very nice. So it, it won't fade, it won't chip. Now, when we look at fiberglass campers, and people ask us all the time, hey Mike, you know, what kind of camper do you recommend? Mm -hmm. And I always tell people fiberglass is a great way to go. If we ever were to buy a travel trailer, I'm pretty sure we would go with a fiberglass travel trailer because they last long, they have unbelievably great resale value, yep. and uh, they don't leak very often, well, if at all. Structurally, it's the best. Yeah. And I don't mean to take away from Cortez for a second, but we have a beautiful diesel Class A right behind us here. Yep. yep. And on the front and the back of this Class A motorhome are molded fiberglass caps. Right. Well, all we're doing is using the strength and the technology that's already available to us with the best products and building a far better camper. So this is, the whole rig is four pieces, two outside pieces and two inner shells. Oh, okay. So there's no, uh, most campers have thousands of pieces yeah, inside. Right. All of your cabinets, all of your refrigerator cabinets, all of your seating is all pre-molded, a lot like a boat yeah. would be. Yeah. So there is not anything that could go wrong structurally. You don't have to worry about a piece of trim falling off. Right. Or a it's, cabinet all, it's all molded together. It's all molded together. So how do you insulate these? Well, two ways. First, the fiberglass is supported with a honeycomb structure, and that's what's blown on with the, the fiberglass here, okay. okay? All right. But then there's natural air gaps also included inside. Unlike some of the other fiberglass campers on the market that might be single shelled, mm -hmm. this is a double shell, or okay. what they call a double hole. A right. lot like the highest end campers out there right. do that double hole. So there's an inner wall and an outer wall, and then we have airspace Correct. with honeycombing in between. Correct. Okay. Correct. So there's no, um, as you think of the fiberglass from your house, there's none of that. Right. And there's absolutely no wood in this camper. This is an all weather camper, so it is like we talked about the double hole the dual pane windows, the fully sealed and enclosed underneath, yep. plus all the tanks have extra heating pads on them. Oh, okay? okay. This is equipped with the optional leveling system here. Just open this up and you've got all your controls right here inside. Push power to turn it on, that turns the light on also. 
That's great. So if you're backing in late at night, you can kind of see what you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> so Mike, this is pretty neat. Okay. Okay. When you look underneath our camper, you can see all the wheel wells. All the wheel wells here. Yep. Are all molded fiberglass. Yep. Not even a gap. All the way underneath the trailer is all fiberglass. All the way through. Now, something that we do differently than most other, not only fiberglass campers, but campers in general is, these are independent suspension. This is a Timbrin axleless suspension. Okay. So for a single axle trailer designed specifically for a lighter weight tow vehicle, this will pull seamlessly. Wow. So if you're ever on a construction road where the one road is higher than the other, yep. this will auto adjust and make sure that you've got the cleanest and easiest towing experience on the road. Very nice. Well, speaking of towing, how much does this thing weigh? That's a good point. This is just over 2,000 pounds. Okay. Everyone is a little different because of the sprayed in, but right. usually between 2,000 and 2,600 pounds. That's pretty good. The gross vehicle weight rating is 35. Okay. That's based on the axle size and what they can handle. Okay. So we've designed this to be able to be pulled by most V6 vehicles out there. Yep. And with our color options on the outside, we can do a lot to match the tow vehicle also. Now, can people order custom colors? Absolutely, oh, absolutely. This is something go. that we're willing to get into. We're still stocking up our local dealers with the standard white, Okay. the optional seafoam green or blue, or even our all new metallic, which is a glittery, glamorous color. That sounds That cool. comes in either silver or champagne. Anything else on the outside we should know about? The main thing is this, that this is an all weather camper. So due to the insulation, the dual pane windows, the uh, heated okay. tanks, Yep. This coach is designed for use anywhere in North America at just about any amount of time. Okay. On board equipment wise, we do have a full forced air furnace, on demand water heater, plus the 14,500 BTU forced air. Uh, Which is a plenty of BTUs for this we size We could camper. almost hang you'll, meat in this yeah, particular. Yeah, I was going to say, you'll get, you'll get frozen out of this camper. A lot of our people sure. say they like our windows because of course they're on the struts from the inside, but you've got the full blackout shade yep. here, or you have the screen here from underneath which both of them can be attached to each other just like this and work independently. Right. <laughs> now I want to bring up something that a lot of people don't like to talk about. Okay. And that is the cost of a fiberglass camper. Yeah. And they're a little more than what you might spend on a traditional, what we call sticks and tin camper, which is a camper that's made of wood and aluminum or aluminum siding. That's correct. And so on the fiberglass, why do they cost more than, than some of the more traditional ones that you might find out there? The only way I can answer this is good things aren't cheap and cheap things are all not right. necessarily good. All right. <laughs> but we all know that wood is the most affordable building material Absolutely. in any respect. Yep. Um, the problems with wood is first, of course, it's heavy. Yeah. So you can't attract all the tow vehicles you want. Yep. But even worse, over time, that wood is going to not last as yeah. we intend it to. Sure. So because of the nature of the fiberglass and the, the marine grade gels that we're using, there's a lot more money involved in this yep. than there would be. Okay. But the long-term benefit of having a Cortez or a fiberglass camper is they're going to last yeah. a tremendous amount of time. Yeah. And the resale value on them is unbelievable. So if you look at the price versus the long-term cost of a camper, your cost may actually be lower because when you consider what you buy it for and then how long you use it and then what you could sell it for, you will actually save money in the long run yes. where you might buy something for less money up front, but then it's virtually worth zero at the end of 10 years. We say it could almost be generational. Yeah, that's true. You could yeah. pass it on to, it yeah, so it's, it's, it's just another way of looking at it, yep. but we know there's customers. We get the calls from customers that want a better product. Yeah. And that's what the Cortez is and can be for them. Well, why don't we take a walk inside and we'll check out some of the interior features. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so here we are inside the Cortez camper. And like I said, it kind of, it feels like a boat in here, right? Because everything's fiberglass on the inside. Like you mentioned, it's all molded in one piece. These cabinets aren't built into place. They're molded into place. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a very cool feel in here. And you know that it's going to last and hold up over time. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the features in here. Now we're sitting back here in what could be the dinette mm -hmm. or your sofa area or your bed. Mm -hmm. And this table has a clip underneath and this, this baby moves like every direction. And it'll spin also. There's, you oh can, yeah, you can turn, turn it around. Yep. And with us both sitting here, we can't yeah. do that, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, you know. But it's perfect if we're both <laughs> sitting here, we could actually pull it out this far. Right. And you can almost have somebody else behind here 
uh, and have almost a full U-shaped dinette. Now, because of the 17-foot nature of this vehicle, it does it does prohibit a lot of the bigger trailer feel. Yeah. But using the functionality of this versus a standard pillar table, we're trying to think ahead. Yeah, yeah. So we can drop this table down, and this creates your bed space back here as well. Um, and I usually take some measurements of that. Okay. So if All you right. don't mind, I'll take a quick sure, measurement sure, here. Sure. So it's going to be about 54 inches wide, and then... Uh, you know, about 74 inches long. So it would be considered like a short. It's a short queen this way, yeah. east to west. Wise. Okay. Okay. And that's what we designed it for. And all the cushions we make in house. We don't buy these. Oh, okay. So um, you can see everything in here is just clean and done. It is. It's a very nice fit and finish in here. That is for sure. And when you come through, it just feels like it's a very quality. Camping. Some something I'll point out. You can't see it right now, but all of our Cortez are equipped with a drain hole. Are they really? So, <laughs> so if you, you hose this thing, you out. can hose it out exactly. Because <laughs> the principle is this: with the no wood concept, there's nothing organic in our campers that's going to actually rot or or have mildew over time. Right. So using this type of floor and the way we do it. It could be just hosed out, broomed out, yeah. uh, because it's all part of that inner mold. So it's a great seating area. It it's, is. It's perfect. It's comfortable. And then even coming around this way, you've got the secondary dinette here. Yeah. Uh, we do include the one seat that is molded in. And while I'm talking about it, point out how strong this is. Yeah, it's amazing. Yep. Cosmetically, it's easier to clean. Yep. And then you can employ the stuff from... Uh, from the store with all the suction cups. Oh, right. For storage, for little, shoe racks, yeah, uh, you know, right in, the, in the bathroom, which we'll get to in a second. All the different things you can use. I there. didn't even think about that. Now, I did bring up this, this dinette situation here where we only have one seat to the dinette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so Susan and I were kind of guessing you would just get a second camping chair. That's and, correct. And put it on the other side of the table. Mm -hmm. And there you go. You have your dinette set up. And I think it's important to bring that up because if you're like me and Susan, you do not want to have to make your bed every day, maybe. And so you might just set this up as a bed, mm -hmm. leave it as your bed, and then you've got your dinette table where you can sit at to have your meals. Mm -hmm. And so it just gives you that option. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of cool that it's built in that This way. is a perfect camper for couples, yeah. even for, for single folks. Yeah, sure. Who want to get out and experience the country. They don't have to buy necessarily a new tow vehicle. Right. It'll That's marry right. up. We only have a two inch hitch on the front, so it doesn't require the bigger, yeah. uh, the two, two and two and five eighths or two and five sixteenths, whichever they're going to use. But So uh, yeah, and at 3,500 pounds, um, GW, well, gross vehicle 30, yep. weight, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that's you know, smaller pickup trucks, SUVs, anything with a V6 engine could still be able to tow this around. And you can very shortly visit our website and we'll have a list of all the vehicles. I think we're doing 2020 and 21. Okay. But there's always, generally a V6. It'll be a long time to get that list together, I would guess. It, there's it, a lot it, of vehicles that yeah, can tow this. Exactly. It's much bigger than most <laughs> RVs. Yeah. This is what we're going to call one of the most towable RVs in the business. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, as far as the kitchen goes in here, mm -hmm. Um, I noticed we've t we've taken out the wooden cutting board. So. That's right. That's right. I was getting hit on that wooden. This is what we call the Rabati sink. So it is a multi-purpose sink. Uh, this that, is pretty cool. This that comes, comes out. out. Yep. And you can see how deep that sink is. All stainless steel. Yeah, very nice. All the appliances on board are Furion appliances. We've got the 17-inch oven along with the three-burner cooktop. This is an all LP system right now. And then even for storage, you can see some of the quality we have here with the drawers. They have the clips here and they're very solid. Yeah, they are. One, it's really, really unusual to see an actual oven in a camper of this size. So that's kind of a neat feature to have. So why don't we take a look uh, up front at the bathroom area Sure, next. well, the, be careful when you see the bathroom because this is one of the biggest bathrooms you'd ever see in a 17-foot yeah, trailer. it is, so, it's pretty cool. Yeah, let's, uh, let's sneak up front here and check it out. All right, let's do it. All right, Brian, so here we are, or here you are, up in the bathroom. We both can't, we could probably both fit in there at the same time, but I'm I not don't, going to. It'd probably make for a great TV production, but <laughs> nobody else is going to want to see it. So this is a wet bath. Of course, the Cortez has one of the largest it's baths huge, yeah. in, the, in the business here. Yeah, so absolutely. Of course, you've got your full shower here. Of course, you've got your fully molded sink, many places to store soap or other uh, necessities sure but i always want to point out remember this is all fiberglass all the way around so if you want to add racks or put something else in nothing more than a suction cup will keep everything yeah, in place that's a great idea and over here of course we have the commode 
everything is plumbed. This tank for the toilet is a black tank that's all plumbed directly inside. Okay. So this is this has all the features of any travel trailer on the market, um, plus the, the water capacities and the on-demand capacity also. That's fantastic. You know, a lot of smaller campers, I'll bring it up, they do have the cassette toilets in them, but the cassette toilets are so small you really can only use them for a very limited amount of time. Yeah. We left it open here with the curtain that does have snaps all the way around to prevent any water from getting on the floor. Which wouldn't matter anyway. Which wouldn't matter anyway, but it just, it feels bigger. Now, for perspective, I'm six foot three. Yep. There may or may not be a three in front of my wheat. Gotcha. And I'm fitting in here. I might make this area look small, but I want to put my size in perspective because I could stand up here very easily and do whatever I need to yeah, do yep. to get clean, to shave, which I don't do very often, uh, or use the toilet here. There you go. So, very important. So since we're here, I might as well just show off this because yeah. I think this is one of the key things of the Cortez, that this is an eight cubic foot refrigerator. It is fully lockable, so when you look inside here, this is an absolutely enormous fridge. It really is. And it's a 12 volt refrigerator as well, it which is. means it's gonna run off of shore power or the battery that, that comes with the camper stuff. Exactly, and there's room up front for two LP tanks. Okay. There is an onboard furnace. Uh, it is a Suburban furnace. Of course, the Suburban on-demand water heater. Uh, cooling wise, we do include two things. We've got the uh, fantastic vent here mm -hmm. above. This is remarkable. On the third speed or highest speed, it will clean all the air out of the coach every two minutes. Oh, those, these, are, these are amazing. We have one in our Class A, absolutely love it. It's just great. And then, of course, behind that, we've got currently equipped a Furion 14,500 BTU uh, air conditioner. So it's a, it's a pleasure to show this to you because it really is a remarkable uh, rig. And we're really proud of the work they've done. But we do have another floor plan coming out mid-summer this year. It'll be our 22-footer that's 8 foot wide. So it's ah. a substantially different layout than this yeah. with more size but not much more weight. It's kind of amazing from the first one we built. It's oh, only right. a couple hundred pounds more than what we're in wow. right now. Well, I'll look forward to seeing that when it comes out. And we've got, if you ever come to Cleveland, there's more than just the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in <laughs> Cleveland. You can come and visit us over at Cortez. <laughs> well, listen, we really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. And giving us the tour today, Brian. Appreciate it. We nice hope you guys you. will check out Cortez campers when you get a chance. And if you'd like to check out some more fiberglass campers, just click the box down below. And Susan and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.